Hello, hello. Thank you for tuning in to Nebasi Time to Change. Greetings to you all from Pastor Jennifer. Multilingual subtitles are available, so please set the subtitles as needed first. Today, let me share my meditation on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 6. Let me read it first. Matthew 7, 6. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs, lest they trample them underfoot and turn to attack you. What does pearl mean in this verse? Usually, it means what is valuable, but the verse itself, Matthew 7, 6, interprets it as what is holy, while contrasted with what is holy, or a pearls. Dogs and pigs are referred to as what is unclean. Let us think not of dogs and pigs of the modern times, but of those living in the ancient world. Pearl, the holy thing which is in sharp contrast, dogs and pigs in nature, fits very well with the meaning of pure, which is the second meaning of the original word hagios, meaning holy. If so, what does pearls specifically mean? Nothing in human beings can be described to be holy. Only God and what belongs to God, or what God made holy, can be described to be holy. The holiness of Jesus, who is God, has been acknowledged even by unclean spirits who are far from being holy. Let me read Mark 1, 24. What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Simon Peter also acknowledged the holiness of Jesus, his Master. John 6, 68-69 Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom should we go? Do you have the words of eternal life? And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Romans 1 mentions the holiness of His Spirit. Romans 1, 3-4 Concerning His Son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the Son of God in power, according to the Spirit of holiness by His resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Everything that belongs to God, such as God's law and His holy things in His temple, is holy too. Ezekiel 22:26. Our priests have done violence to my law and have profaned my holy things. They have made no distinction between the holy and the common. Neither have they taught the difference between the unclean and the clean. And they have disregarded my Sabbath, so that I am profaned among them. In addition to what belongs to God, what God has made holy is also holy. 1 Timothy 4, 4-5 For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. The saints, I mean Christians who have been saved from sin by their faith in the redemptive work done by Christ on the cross, are also holy. 1 Corinthians 7.14 For the unbelieving husband is made holy because of his wife, and the unbelieving wife is made holy because of her husband. Otherwise, your children would be unclean. But as it is, they are holy. Not everyone hears and receives the gospel of Jesus Christ. Likening such people to dogs and pigs is neither an exaggeration nor a contempt. It is very true to the Bible because they reject the gospel when it is the only way for men to become holy. They may even become violent as Jesus said with concern, and trample the good news underfoot. 
and even turn to attack those who preach it for their sake. Unfortunately, this is the reality of the present day, and will continue to be the case in the future as well, as is foretold by Luke chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-four. Luke twenty-one, twenty-four. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be led captive among all nations, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles. Until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled, however, those who receive the gospel of the Holy One with a pure heart and boldly spread the good news will eventually be the winners. On the other hand, those who trample the gospel will face a severe judgment by the Holy One on the day of vengeance. They will perish. Along with the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God, Hebrews chapter ten, verses twenty-eight to twenty-nine. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God? And has profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified, and has outraged the spirit of grace. I earnestly pray that everyone will accept the gospel before the day of judgment comes, and come to share the destiny of the holy saints as victors.